Good morning from the state of Texas. It is great to see so many folks here from all around the country. I am so excited to spend a little time with this group. The educators and the business leaders and even the students who are in this office are so important to Texas. And we just want to say howdy, welcome, enjoy some good Texas hospitality and breakfast while you're here. And let's talk about some of the things that NAF is doing for our country, for our state, and for this great city. I am Jason Vialba. I'm a member of the Texas House of Representatives. Now, Texas, like Washington, has a couple of different houses in the, in the Senate, in the House. We're one of the good guys down here. We're focused on education every cycle that we go down there. Every two years, we go down to the Texas legislature and we deal with educational issues. Now, I can tell you, I can't tell you how proud I am to stand in front of the faces of the future of education. Because one of the things that I know is that organizations like NAF are truly the bleeding edge of educational advancement. I am so excited to hear about the academies, about some of the great work you're doing, and about the integration between the business community and the educational community to come together and reach our students. I represent a large part of Dallas, and the areas that I represent are so impacted positively by yours. I have several schools in my district, Hillcrest High School, for instance, with an Academy of Engineering, Emmett Conrad High School, an Academy of Engineering, Academy of Finance, and Academy of Health and Sciences. Thomas Jefferson High School, right around the corner. There's an Academy of Engineering, Academy of Finance, Academy of Hospitality, and Academy of Tourism, and W.T. White High School. Now, these are just a few examples of the positive impact that we're, you are having on educational advancement in Texas today. The students that are impacted by your programs are truly changed forever. They recognize the import and the value that you bring. They recognize that you're doing something different. And they recognize that there's something important about what you're teaching them. Let me say from the great state of Texas, thank you. Thank you. So often in the educational community, we are trapped in age-old rubrics, methodologies that may have worked in the past but aren't working for our future. But what you have done is created a new methodology to bring together the business community and the educational community to collaborate in such a way that we've created these academies. And you are having such a great impact and I'm so thankful for everyone in this room. Our governor, Governor Greg Abbott, last fall launched the Industrial Cluster Initiative Academies Initiative. This initiative includes the coordination between the Texas Education Agency the Texas Workforce Commission, and the Texas High Higher Education Coordinating Board. And this collaboration is really key to helping students plan for and prepare for a future workforce. With a relevant high school education and the right training and college experience to put them on the road to success. I'm proud of the Texas House of Representatives and the, and the Texas Senate took the necessary steps to help, to help connect K-12 education in college training and businesses in our state. With the newly passed Senate Bill 22, Texas is supporting more diverse talent pipelines throughout the educational system. You might be asking yourself this morning, why is a politician before us? Why is somebody from the Texas legislature here? And I'll tell you, it's because the Texas budget that we deal with every two years in Austin is about a third, almost, a, almost more than 35% now, of the educational budget of Texas, or of the budget of Texas. So education is a critical component of what we do in Austin. We shape education in a way that is very important for our students, and we know that we cannot rely on antiquated methods of, of teaching our students. We know that the future lies in organizations like NAF that have transformed the way we are engaging with our students. And so my only urge to you, my, my only request for you is that you go back to your homes and you reach out and you call your Texas House of Representatives member, your House member if you live in other states, uh, your Senate member in other states, and talk to them about the important work that you're doing. If you call your representative, I guarantee you that individual will take that phone call 
because she or he knows how important the work that you're doing is. And it will make a difference to them because they know how important the work you do is for their communities. So with that, I'm going to say again, thank you for what you do. God bless you for doing the hard work of teaching our students and creating new technologies for our educational advancement. And thank you for coming to the great state of Texas. I hope you get a chance to have a steak, enjoy some hospitality, have some great breakfast, and maybe even a Texas craft beer or two. God bless you. Thank you so much.